محمد كمان yes. محمد متولي yes, yes. محمد مرسي yes. محمد صبري yes. محمد سالم yes. محمد سالم ايوه محمد سيد محمد زكي yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So with different meaning, different yeah, parts of speech. Avoid misunderstanding. Avoid misunderstanding. Determining if it is a statement or a question. Determining if, if it's a statement, a statement or a question. Okay. And how will that help improve your English? More understanding. Yes. Well, exactly what you said. Deliver what you want. Deliver yes. the message. I will deliver, deliver the, message. the right yes. message. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think it needs more practice. Definitely, it needs more practice. But you know, now that I know how or or what the rule or the general patterns are, I can I have a way to push myself. Then go on. Oh yay! Who knows, Rachel? Who is Rachel? Isn't is that isn't that Rachel or Rachel? She's very famous. She teaches. Uh, she puts videos online for um, uh, for pronunciation. This video will focus on function words or the words that will be lower in pitch, often very quick, sometimes lower in volume, and sometimes even reduced. Reduced means a sound. This video will focus on function words or the words that will be lower in pitch, often very quick, sometimes lower in volume, and sometimes even reduced. Reduced means a sound in the word may be altered or dropped altogether. If you're not familiar with what stressed means, you might want to watch the intro to word stress video first. Intonation is the idea that we vary pitches throughout a sentence, throughout speech. We do not speak always on the same pitch. We vary our pitches a lot. This is part of what makes it easier to understand what's being said. Understanding the pitch patterns of American English, that's an important part to being understood. So how do you know which words should be stressed, higher in pitch, and which should be unstressed, lower in pitch? Well, content words are the words that will generally be stressed. And function words will generally be unstressed. There are several categories and subcategories of function words. This video is just an overview. Later videos will cover more specifically categories with examples. Articles are function words. For example, a uh, and the. In the sentence, do you have the time? Do you have the, the time? Do you see how the word the is low in pitch? Do you have the, do you have the, do you have the time? Auxiliary verbs are function words. Auxiliary verbs are also called helping verbs. And in English grammar, they are paired with main verbs. There are several kinds. First, the kind of auxiliary verb that helps to make the passive voice. For example, the sentence, the wall was painted yesterday. The wall was painted. It didn't paint anything. Passive. The wall was painted yesterday. In this sentence, the word was is the auxiliary verb. The wall was painted, was, was, was painted. Do you see how it's lower in pitch? The wall was painted yesterday. We also need an auxiliary verb to help make the ing or progressive form. For example, in the sentence, if you are speaking too fast, the word are here is the auxiliary verb. You are speaking too fast. Do you see how it's lower in pitch than the word speaking? You are speaking too fast. These cases are often written as contractions. You're speaking too fast. Another kind of auxiliary verb is the one that helps to make the perfect tense. For example, in the sentence, she has given up. The word has is our helping verb here. She has given up. She is, she is. Do you see how the word has is very low in pitch? It's actually been reduced and I have dropped the H. She is, she is, she has given up. Modal verbs are also auxiliary or helping verbs. For example, might, could, and can. Take, for example, the sentence, I can go tomorrow. I can go tomorrow. Do you see how it's lower in pitch? It's unstressed. I can, can. It's actually even reduced. Can, can, from can to can. I can, I can, 
I can go tomorrow. I can go tomorrow. Prepositions are also function words. For example, with, on, beside. And so are pronouns. For example, our, she. In the sentence, he came with his friends. The word with, a preposition, low in pitch, unstressed. He came with his friends. Also, the word his, a possessive pronoun. He came with his, with his, just like with, very low in pitch, unstressed. He came with his friends. Conjunctions are also function words. For example, and, but, if. In the example sentence, I'll come if you want. I'll come if you want. You can see that if is one of the words that is not stressed. It is lower in pitch. I'll come if you want. To review, function words are the words that will generally be unstressed in a sentence. So this means they'll be lower in pitch, sometimes lower in volume, often very, very fast. Sometimes they'll even reduce, which means a sound will change or will get dropped. They are the opposite of content words, which will generally be stressed within a sentence. This contrast of stressed and unstressed is very important in American English. So now that you know a bit more about it, do try to use it while speaking. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English. So have a great day on the list, please. Okay, so can someone tell me what are function words? The intonation and using which is during the Okay, yeah, function words. Function words, yes? Yes, uh, yeah, so just generally, how are they in a sentence? They are expressed or unstressed. Reduced, sometimes lower in conjunctions. So types of uh, unstressed function words are conjunctions, auxiliary verbs, noun. Model verbs, model verbs, model verbs, model verbs, model verbs, model verbs, progressive forms, possessive pronouns, perfect tenses, so, okay, so, for example, articles like a, the, the cat, the dog, the dog, the dog, and articles, yeah. Helping verbs, an ing form, like ooh, if someone said progressive. Passive voice, like is, are, have, has, where, and was. Perfect tense, had, has, have. Do you have that? Yes. Do you have that? The data? Yes. No, that was not right. The data? Do you have that? Yeah. I, I, you almost eat the have yeah. and has. You eat it. Yeah. She could come. She could come. Prepositions with, on, beside. Pronouns like he, she, it, and them. They're coming. Is she coming? Is she coming? Pronouns. Yes, pronouns. Conjunction and but if. Yeah? Can someone give me a, a conjunctions example? What <coughs> word is in a sentence could be stressed? Example sentence? Can you say that again, Mr. Muhammad? Yeah, there is a sentence. Uh -huh. Which word is must be stressed? That's the content words, right? The con we will discuss content words, but we are saying now that function words, which are all of these, they are unstressed words. For example, yes? Me and my friend came here. Yes. Okay, me and my friend came here. Yes. So, me and my friend came here. Yes. 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 I'll come, but I'm busy. Yes, I'll come, but I'm busy. I'll come, but I'm busy. Nice. Oh, or, if you want to go to school, you have to do good. See, even you, you have to do good. Have to do good. Utter and tell. So in groups, choose 10 words 
with different stress levels for the other group, okay? And each group will utter the words and state the rule. You will correct each other. So what I want you to do, instead of 10 words, let's do five words. Each group is going to come up with five words. These five words could be pronouns, possessive, or passive, you know, any of these things. You, so you could, for example, choose and, she, with, and might, and is, for example. And you are going to stand up and give them to the other groups. And the other groups have to try to put them in sentences. All and unstressed. Yes, all unstressed all for now. Okay? All unstressed for now. So just maybe write it on a piece of paper and give it to the other group so they can practice. Okay? I can't swim. Okay. Or I, I can't swim. I can't swim. You see? Well, you see how it, it sounds different when you're like, I can't swim. 
You're telling me I can swim, by the way, but if you say I can swim, you're telling me that you can swim. Okay. I can swim. 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 The she is unstressed, okay? The tree is beside the house. The tree is beside Nice. The tree is beside the house. The tree is beside the house. Nice. Okay? Did you go? Okay. He's the best boy. He's the best boy in the class. He's the best boy in the class. He's the best boy in the class. Okay. <coughs> Our work is done. Yeah. Our work is done. Wow. Yeah. Our work is done. Wow. Our work is wow. done. Okay, see, see how? If our work is done, I say our work is done. Our work is done. Okay. There's diagraphs, clusters, 
and blends. And I'm going to discuss each one in detail. Okay? Um, so I'm Yes. So, what is a phoneme? A phoneme is the smallest yeah. unit of sound in a word. How many letters are these in English? For example, in spoon. Um, well, let's look at no. Let's look at the, this first. This is really important to show us some data. In English, I have twenty. When you take that data. The data and data are both correct. I have 26 letters. I have 44 sounds. From these 44 sounds, I have 24 consonants and 20 vowels. How many letters are there in Arabic now? I have 28 letters in Arabic. And 34 sounds. sounds. You see, that leaves here 10 sounds that are not Include. taught in English. Yeah, I, mean, I have 10 sounds that don't exist here. I have 44 here and I have 34 here. Mm. From these Arabic letters, I have 28 consonants and 8 vowel sounds. Look at how many vowel sounds I have here. I have 20 vowel sounds here. I have 8 that sounds here. No wonder we have difficulty to say some things. And on the other hand, here I have 24 consonants, and in Arabic I have 28 consonants. That's why sometimes they can't say and I don't know, they have the foreign the and they have a very difficult time saying the Arabic letters. That's because they are we're not wired to say these things. So this is a nice reflection kind of, uh, kind of thing. Here, consonants. All non-vowel letters are consonants. Anything that is not a vowel is a consonant. Example, la, ma, na, pa, ke. So do all these things have obstruction? Do I have to obstruct? Or put a closure in my, in my vocal tract? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I only obstruct when I do consonants. But in a vowel, I let it go. I keep it open. Consonant sounds are different from consonant letters. Two or more consonant letters can create one sound. Mm. So uh, I'm go you're going to just uh, think, think how many, I yeah, think per share, how many phonemes are in the following words? Cat, scarf, shape, patch, and patient. The smallest unit of sound. How many phonemes are in these words? How many sounds do you hear? Cat, three phonemes. Cat, 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 a phony is the sound in it. Cut, cut, cut. Three. 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 So cat is? Three. Here. Cat. Three. What about scar? Four. Five. 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 Sack. 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 Thank you.
Yeah, but you are right. you're saying it correctly. You're saying sing and ring. You're saying it correctly. Yes. I understand. Sing. Good job. Go Continue. Go L in. L. La. Hmm. Lemon. Lemon. Okay. Ra. Ru. Wa. We. Ha. Han. Ya. University. Sha. Shoes. Ja. Vision. Cha. Cha. Ja. Ja. Wait, jam. What? Jam. Jam. Something you need. Jam. 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 This is Mr. Sabri, Jam, 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 So yeah, what uh, Mr. Sauber is saying is that this symbol means jump, jump sound, and I say jump, but I don't say jam, I say jam, right? Jam, but not jam. Jam, 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 Two words that end with the, the sound jam. Is there a different? How about a question? Is there a different transcription for jump and jam? Or do I say jam and jump? I'm, yes, I'm asking you. Jam, 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 jump. jump. Yes, jump. Jam. I, I pronounce the letter J. Jam. 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 It's all about the jam. Jam. I'm sure about jam. Yeah, my question is it's pronunciation, but the transcription is it different? Yes. No. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yeah. 
I will say lamb. I say lamb. It's very, it's very subtle. Slice. 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 Yeah. So that uh, the M V makes the M sound, and uh, the thing. Boomerang. Fingerprint. Fingerprint. So the NG makes the sound. And I have ink. Sink. Rink. The NK sound has a straightforward NK sound. Yes, sir? Some words like mechanic. Mechanic. It has the letter CH, but its pronouns K, not chess. Mechanic. Mechanic. Mm -hmm. Mechanic. Yes, mechanic. The sound has the letter CH. Yes. I don't know what the rule is. The sound has the answer. I don't have a rule. I just know yeah. it's mechanic. But I mean, the name Michael writes the shape. Michael writes it. This is the song. In pronunciation, the golden rule is that there is no rule. It's all companies in India. So you have to check and more than one dictionary. And stick to the common. The yes. common pronunciation. That's it. You see something I really want to point out? There are a lot of dictionaries, and yes, the, the, let's go to the most common ones, like Longman and Oxford, they're very good. I personally like Oxford because it has different uh, options. Yes, it has different options. And let me tell you, if a song, if a, if a word is trans, transcribed or, uh, what is it? Transcribed in a dictionary, it's, it's there because it's common. And common doesn't mean correct. Yes. Commonly used means that a lot of people practice it and use it. But that doesn't mean that this is what I should do in class. And this is okay. not, not only the way. Yeah, and that's not only <laughs> the way. That's not only the way. Okay. Next so week, as you, as you can speak Arabic, uh, as you wish. Okay? They speak their languages in this way. Exactly, just like we had a discussion earlier about Sunday and Sunday. Uh, if this is an Oxford, I personally never heard of Sunday, but if it's an Oxford and it's authentic, then it's your choice to say Sunday. But maybe if I'm in class and I ha I'm saying Sunday, maybe Sunday is better because it's can't stand here. It's easier. D-A-Y, there's a D-A-Y, yeah. D -A -Y. not remembering here, Sunday. By the way, yes, I say to you, tell you that my colleagues is something yes, about the, the slang and the accident. accident. Uh, when I was in Edinburgh University, uh, I was in, uh, in the bus with two floor, with two... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay? I was sitting alone, as a, uh, one, only one teacher there. Wait, Mr. Guys, can you please, Luke B, can you please listen to his conversation? Yes? Continue. Okay. And there was a tour guy speaking in English. After just five minutes or ten minutes, I was in communication with her very well, very, very well. Suddenly something hit on my head. Nothing comes here in my head at all. I found myself, what, what happened to me? What is she speaking? Is she speaking English? Fortunately, there were two girls sitting behind me from London. Uh, are you stand, do, you stand, do you understand what she says? Yeah, I mean, they said no. Why? She speaks uh, Spanish. 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 Different accent. Yeah. When they told me, they couldn't understand. I, oh, I'm not the only one. Relief. Okay. Like Tunisian and Moroccan and Algerian? Yeah. And Bahraini? Yes. Bahraini In Bahraini, they are under church. Yes, this is Yes, with Yes. So uh, I have more digraphs for you. Digraph. 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 Phone. Phonics. 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 The PH sound does the F sound. I have quick. Quick. Sure. Sure. Shipwreck. 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 Shark. Shark. Shield. Shield. Floss. Floss. Gloss. 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 Athlete. 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 Toothbrush. 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 
Toothbrush. Bathtub. Bathtub. Fin. Fin. Thunderstorm. 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 This. 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 There. There. That. That. Where. Where. Which. Which. Right. Right. Buzz. Buzz. Chrome. 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 Do you know Google Chrome? Yes. Chromosome. Chromosome. Dodge. 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 I think this is what it's we meant. Of you meant like damage, right? Yeah. Yes. Like dodge and damage. Catch. Catch. Match. Match. Okay. Um, this is uh, diagrams. I want to show you the video that you couldn't see yesterday about scaffolding. Yes. Turn off lights. Scaffolding is the support needed to assist the student in achieving their learning goals. Scaffolding is a set of tools the educator has available when the student encounters difficulties. Scaffolding tools fall into four basic categories. Metacognitive, procedural, strategic, and conceptual. Metacognitive scaffolds direct the learner to review and assess what they already know. Procedural scaffolds direct the learner. With tools like flowcharts, sitemaps, even complex graphical representations. Strategic scaffolds provide the learner alternative ways to approach a given task. Conceptual scaffolds direct the trainer in deciding what to consider. Mental processing utilization is diminished when the student cannot see a way out of the problem. The scaffold can be used to illuminate the path for the student. Okay. So basically, I want a synonym for a scaffold. Steps. Step four. Support is going to be gradual and levels and yes. Okay, here's what I would like you to do right now. On the back, remember how we agreed that on the back of your uh, notebook, we're going to make a bank of activities or uh, or strategies that we're going to create. So go to the back of your of your notebook and together I want to see people raising their hand and telling me what are the strategies we've done together so far in this course so we can create a bank for you active learning strategies or anything that we use for you to use in class to help you yes. I want to see a hand <coughs> yes ma'am parking lot okay parking lot okay we have the parking lot strategy yes Yes. Thank you. Think, pair, share. Miss Nada. Hmm? Okay, norms. Yes, and not just do rules in class, but how we did it in think, pair, share. You do it. Let the students decide their norms. Thank you, Miss Nada. Elevator speech. Yes, elevator speech. 30 second speech. Yes? Role play. Role play. Think tacto. Remember the think tacto? Like the XO that you go from difficult to, to uh, you know, it's just below average, average, and above average? Excellent. Brainstorm. Brainstorming. Jigsaw. Pedagogy. Pedagogy. And Yes. Anchor activities. Anchor activities. Not challenging <laughs> above average. Very important. <laughs> Oh, oh, ping pong. Ping. When you say ping pong, do they drop there? Pencils. Okay, or pens. Ping pong. Carousel activity. Carousel. Yes, sir. Yes, what kind of interaction? Yeah, house. Yes, something specific. A strategy that you've learned. When you want to get uh, us a new idea, you uh, meet us, uh, deduce it. 
Thank you. Yes. Uh, eliciting information. Eliciting. Yes, eliciting information. Very, uh, that's for everything. Excellent. Yes. The game is a song. A song Songs. using the songs. Games. You know? Games. Yes, anchor activities. Games. We, we yes, video games. analysis. Debating. Picture oh, analysis. Picture uh, no, analysis. Norm, please raise your hand if you want to say something, so we can all say it here. So I have video analysis, picture. anchor activity, picture analysis. Yes, it's like that. Learning and learning. Okay, learning in groups, learning in mixed ability groups and in, and in same, in, in, in and in same ability groups, different groups, yes? Yes, yes you know? Discussion. Yes, discussion and brainstorming. Mm -hmm. A diagram for the to facilitate uh, difficult words. Okay, yes, a diagram to uh, facilitate the difficult words. Yes, yeah. As elevator speech, no? Road play. Yes, you said road play as well. Yes, you said it? Yes, but I want a strategy that you, you're going to apply in class and other things that you can use. Just, okay, listening? Hmm. Using yeah, cards. Using, you know, uh, play cards. Using, 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 using play cards. Ah, uh, and art itself. Uh, okay, using the, oh, multiple intelligence yeah. groups, remember? Yeah. Drawing and labeling poem and song, remember? Yes. Uh, Draw speech bubble? Drawing. Yes. Drawing. Drawing. Oh, uh, yes, uh, groups will exchange rules. Groups exchange tasks. Yes, sir. Peer to peer learning. Yes, body system. Body system, pair learning. Very, very important. Yes, you, you pair with your partner and you discuss things. It's a different kind of grouping. So grouping can be as a class, in groups, in pairs, and in the individual. What else? What about advising students according to Jigsaw? Yes, and how about one, two, three, eyes on me? Okay? One, two, three, they say eyes on me, or you say eyes on me. Jeopardy. Jeopardy, yes. Jeopardy. What about the norm sign? Yes, students interact and work better. But you don't know what Jeopardy is? Okay. But Jeopardy, what's that? With, uh, Jeopardy is just a game. You can go online and search Jeopardy Game Maker, and you can put questions. You yourself put the questions you want to ask the students. Yes, yes Jeopardy. Excuse me, uh, but you want uh, to go inside to be covered with a, with a sound to draw the attention. Uh, let me tell you something research is showing or when you spend a lot of time with students in class they become uh, this is jeopardy spending j e o p a i'm sorry my hand right yes a. this is an a j e o e a jeopardy p a r d y this is the game so let me tell you this and then okay. please don't forget jeopardy is a game you can go to jeopardy maker online and you can insert your own questions by difficulty and divide them into teams and have questions that are worth 500 points, questions that are worth 400 points, easier questions that are worth 300 points, and easier and easier for 200 and 100 points. And do you insert the questions and there's an answer that is, that is hidden from them. So th when they, uh, the team chooses, I want, uh, for example, vocabulary for 500, they, they, will, they will get the question, it will show on the board, or not on the board, on the projector, and then if they, if they answer it right, they take the 500 points. If they don't answer it right, another team could... Get more yeah, but uh, this is, uh, I suggest this for very calm classes, because uh, the kids get very excited, so you have to have very good control, norms, and classroom management. Yes, because so some, some kids are not able to keep calm. And going back to, if, and you're going to find the list on Jeopardy Maker Online. You're going to find a lot of uh, different things. And before I forget, the norm sign is really, it's much better than fast, please, stop talking, because they react, they start reacting better to non-verbal cues because they're so immune 
and, the, and they've, they've heard you shout and scream a million times. So when, when a look is more effective and a sign is more effective than you screaming. They respond more. Yes, they start to respond more. And, yes, and what's even better about it is that it forms a collective, they start helping you. So when Muhammad sees me, he's going to do this. And Ms. Nada sees me, she's going to do this. And then, oh, and then Ms. Rania is going to look at her and do this. And then we form like a collective environment of, okay, we're ready as a class. And it doesn't mean that they're rude. But it takes time, it takes time. Um, First time. You have to make them practice it. For all to do to pay attention and to raise their hands. It takes time. It depends no. on the class, really. So, of course, sometimes it takes time, but... So, yeah, sometimes it, it's fast. Sometimes when they practice it and they know, oh, okay, Mr. Han. Uh, we had a question, Ms. Uh, yes, I wanted to ask about the strategy of activity uh, for the shy students. For shy students? Yes. Shy students, I, I guess what I would do is that I would find out what they like, what they like to do, who they like to sit next to. to Get them activities uh, they like to do in front of the class, encourage him, uh, make the class uh, clap for him, uh, give him more attention, uh, make him participate with his student, uh, give him the uh, uh, world leader of his group, make him uh, talk, uh, speak, and uh, Loudly in front of uh, uh, read a story in front of the class. Yes, give him more, more. Yes, yes. 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 give him the chance. Okay, can you just go, Mr. Muhammad, first? Okay, yeah, Mr. Muhammad. Okay, go okay. ahead. Uh, if we put them in groups, okay, uh, they will be more involved in the actions, uh, in the tasks, and the activities. Yeah? And they, they feel that you put your trust on him or her. Yeah. And yes. okay. First, second, you can encourage him on very, very little things that he made something he uh, deserves more. That would make him feel Yes, yeah. yes. You yes. can encourage him. Yes. Uh, we have a situation, Ms. Farah did it with us, the three uh, go out, and in this way. Apply it in this way. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, we can add something. Uh, we can tell them uh, uh, they don't be shy of. Uh, don't be him, him, don't. Don't, okay. don't <laughs> be shy of making mistakes. Okay. Um, as a teacher, I accept your mistakes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm here, I'm here to, uh, uh, yes, to, to improve, improve this. Okay. Uh, so if I did so and involve uh, the shy student in a group and I listen to all the group, yeah, I will uh, listen to the group. By the way, Mr. Muhammad. When Mrs. mentioned a shy, he may put himself or herself in a certain place without involving. If he worked alone. No, he no. puts himself or herself in this way. Uh, this is what we mean, Miss. Yes, I mean that uh, there is activity to make them mm -hmm. out to encourage them, but just to uh, make it work. Okay, he, he just he doesn't make himself as rich. No, 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 no. Okay, he doesn't make himself as rich. Okay, you can do that. Okay, yes, and then, and then, uh, 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 and that we can both the students in levels and we start with the, 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 lows, the low learners with supporting, you give them simple questions, give them a translation, uh, encourage them to speak, uh, praise them when they answer even very simple questions, uh, let their uh, good students help mm -hmm. them uh, through the praise, through the leisure time. Okay. Uh, that's all strategies. Can, uh, we can Shy students is not slow learner. No. They may be active, but they no. Sometimes, sometimes they're, they're so shy they to speak up because they're afraid they don't say the wrong answer. Yes, yes. That, is, that is my role to ask. They know the answer, but he feels shy to. Yes, but some students. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To let him uh, give him the chance mm -hmm. to read, to answer without making any comments, to encourage him all the time. Give him new trust, really. Yes. This is an active way, and I try to keep my classes and have like, perfect results at the end.